Today we're going to be answering the burning question of what is the best t-shirt blank for your t-shirt business? Look, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I've said this before and I'll keep saying it over and over. There is no one best thing or one best way for anything, especially in this business. So I just released a video not too long ago on the best way to print t-shirts, which if you want to learn more about that, just check it out right here. It's going to be in the description below. It's very informative and it really clears up a lot of, you know, t-shirt printing and what the best ways there are to do each and everything. Now, today we're going to be talking about the best t-shirt blanks to use. This is something that's consistently asked over and over and everyone wants to know what is the best t-shirt blank? Look, I, well, I just said it already. There is no best t-shirt blank. And if you want to click off this video right now because you wanted a specific brand, then by all means. But hear me out for a second. This is going to be very dependent from job to job, and it's going to be dependent on your customers and yourself. Everything really is going to depend on your end result and who your demographic of people is. So for one, you're going to have heavyweight t-shirts. Heavyweight t-shirts are going to be just that. They're going to be heavier. They're going to be thicker. And depending on the brand, they might be a bit scratchier than others. Even though I'm not gonna lie to you, even with the cheapest brands that I've tried, which have to be Gildan, I haven't had any issues with, let's say, scratchiness or anything like that. But I will say that the Gildan t-shirts, the heavyweight ones, the cheaper ones, they are a little bit thicker and they're a little bit less comfortable than, let's say, Yazbek, right? I've used Yazbek in the past and a lot of people don't know about them because they're kind of more or less of an underground local brand, but I can't recommend them enough. I think their products are amazing. The only thing is, is that you do need a wholesale license to shop from them, but they have heavyweight t-shirts that feel kind of different than the Gildan ones. They feel better, at least in my opinion. They're about the same thickness, but the feel is a little bit softer. It's They have a bit of a better flow. It's two different types of t-shirts that are pretty much the same thing that at the end of the day, the price point is going to be what differentiates the two. Now, most of the times people are okay with a Gildan heavyweight t-shirt. That's the most common shirt that's used. But if you want a bit of a higher quality, then you can go again with something like Yazbek. But besides that, a lot of other companies have heavyweight t-shirts. So again, it's going to be something that's dependent on what you like or what your customer likes. Take soft t-shirts, for example. Personally, I love using super soft. Super soft shirts are insanely soft. And ever since I started using them, I have not stopped. I love them and I love recommending them to my customers. But with that being said, a gym that I actually just made a few shirts for, they specifically requested next level. And I talked to them about the super soft. They felt them. They liked them. They thought they were great, but they liked next level, which personal preference, right? So this is what I'm trying to get to. It's really all going to depend on your customer, your customer's preferences and your preferences. But it's also something that's going to depend on the job, because a lot of the times, what's going to be the best T-shirt for sublimation? Definitely not cotton T-shirts, right? Nope. It's going to be polyester t-shirts and at that it's definitely not going to be darker t-shirts right nope it's going to be the lighter t-shirts or the white t-shirts but what about dtg what's the best t-shirt for dtg printing well in this case it's definitely not going to be polyester because a lot of the times dtg printers don't work very well with polyester t-shirts although some printers do it takes up a lot more ink and a lot more resources so because of this DTG printing is typically going to be reserved for cotton or mixed t-shirts. What about heat transfer vinyl? What is best for heat transfer vinyl? Well, really, it's going to be a little bit of everything. Polyester, cotton, heavyweight, softer shirts. It doesn't really matter. Now, there are going to be specific materials that aren't going to work very well with heat transfer vinyl. Like, let's say, maybe nylon. Depending on the heat transfer vinyl, depending on your settings, it might not work very well with nylon. So that's another thing that you need to take into consideration too: the specifics of the job. What kind of t-shirts do your customers want? What are these t-shirts going to be used for? So something I actually found out not too long ago is a lot of people, a lot of people that work outside or even HVAC technicians that actually work inside, even if it's very hot, they wear long sleeve t-shirts for a few different reasons. One, so they don't get sunburned, people that work outside. Two, let's say HVAC technicians, because of everything that they're in, because of, you know, they're in the roofs, they're in the attics. A lot of the times they wear long sleeve t-shirts too, to be able to protect their arms. I actually have a customer who's an HVAC technician and he orders shirts all the time. 
He says that they always get ripped up. They always get, start to get messed up because of the working conditions that he's in. So for him, long sleeve polyester t-shirts are best. One, they're not going to rip as easily as, let's say, cotton t-shirts. And two, they're usually quick drying. And on top of that, they're a lot easier to breathe. They breathe a lot easier than your typical cotton shirt. So they're going to be a lot cooler, especially when they're in a house that has no AC. Now, on the flip side, my cousin is actually also an HVAC technician, and he does not like polyester shirts. And the reason for this is because he says they get too stinky. And I can agree with that because there's been times where I've used certain polyester shirts that when you're outside and you start sweating, they start to have a weird smell to them. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it's just the material. I don't know. But I've noticed that polyester t-shirts sometimes have a different smell than your typical cotton shirt when you actually start to, you know, sweat and you start to get down and dirty with them. So with all of that being said, I already made my point that it really all is dependent on the job. But here's a few tips that can actually help you find out what the best t-shirt is going to be for the job that you're doing. So for one, talk to your customer. That is if you're doing custom work. If you're working with your own brand, if you're trying to start up your own brand, then this is going to be completely different. This is going to be on you. This is going to be your personal preference or what you want your brand to resemble. Do you want your brand to be made with heavyweight t-shirts? There's a lot of high-end brands or a lot of high-end companies that use heavyweight shirts. While there's also a lot of other huge brands, high-end brands as well, that use softer, more breathable shirts. Again, it's all dependent on the brand's vision. Now, back to the tips that I was talking about. One thing that you're going to need to do, honestly, is just ask questions. And this is going to be the best thing that you can do. So if somebody asks you for 20 t-shirts, so let's say if it's for somebody that works retail, then you can go ahead and offer them regular t-shirts. Or if it's a store that could potentially get cold, you might want to offer them things like hoodies or long sleeve. Again, this is all stuff that you're going to be recommending based on the job specifics and your customer specifics. If you have a customer that works outside, let's say it's a lawn care company, somebody that cuts grass all day and is in the sun, then a lot of the times you might not be offering them short sleeve shirts because they do need to protect their skin from the sun. So in which case, you're going to be offering them long sleeve. Now, that's not to say that you shouldn't offer them short sleeve because some people might prefer the short sleeve or they might go with both. So again, this is things that you're going to have to ask your customer to find out what's going to be best for this particular job. Do they like shirts that dry quickly? If they do, then polyester or dry fit shirts are going to be the way to go. If it's something that doesn't really bother them, then cotton shirts might be better because it'll be cheaper. Price point and budget is also going to be another thing that factors into the best t-shirt. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. This is something that when you're first starting out, it could potentially start to be a bit overwhelming because there's so many different types of t-shirts to choose from. Don't let that push you away from being able to offer or recommend different products. Listen to your customer, see what they need, and then go to a website like SS Activewear, where you can find a lot of different types of shirts to be able to choose what's best for them. Now, don't only offer them one thing. Offer them maybe three or four different options. That's usually what I do. I'll offer three or four different shirt types, varying in material, style, so that way they can start to pick and choose what they prefer. And then from there, you can start to be a bit more specific. I just wanted to tell you straight up that when it comes to the best t-shirt brand or the best t-shirt for your brand, it's not something that you can necessarily say, this is better than this. Although some shirts are better than others, some people might prefer the ones that are not. So again, it's really all personal preference and it's something that you're going to have to start deciding for yourself based on your job specifics. So stop obsessing with the best anything. Stop obsessing with the best t-shirt. Stop obsessing with the best way to print t-shirts. Stop obsessing with the best heat press because at the end of the day, there's no one best anything except for best t-shirt YouTube channel, which is the Neko Prince. So if you think that's the case, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and make sure you ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. With that, my name is Mario with Neko Prince, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.